Hey guys, so today is July 3rd, I believe, and we're kicking off this vlog. I may not have brought the scissors. We may have to open that package savagely, monkey. Okay, okay so just. I don't mind that. Okay, so Hi let's... guys. So, um, monkey helps me open the mail. Oh my god. Can help? Yeah. Okay. She helps open the mail on the vlog because she holds the key to the PO box. And so all of the from Anna Mail, we figure. Ay! Oh I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Come here. Let's work on one side. Okay. Nice job. Right. Nice job. Okay. Orders from Jet Pen always include a little comic strip. It's very adorable. And this will obviously be going into my journal, clearly. Okay, so show us something that came in there. Go ahead. We Just found these. Oh, yes. This is um, my favorite drawing pencil. This is a Mitsubishi. Um, Vermilion and Persian, Persian blue. Um, my little one is running out, so I figured I'd get a full size one um, just in case. Then we have this one. This is the Zebra Sarasa clip. It's an 05, and this is in the um, this is in the red black vintage zebra. Ta-da. So, uh, where was I? Clip gel pen, and that's in 0.5 mm vintage color red black. Love it. Absolutely love it. I'm giving these a try because um, Heather, I think, um, has a few of these uh, vintage colors. All right, Bubby, what's next? This is feel like a caramel swirl for me. <laughs> this is a caramel swirl. Well, I like, like caramel, <laughs> but it's actually sweet and sugary. Yes, sometimes. this is actually a Zip, again Sarasa clip gel pen 05 mm in vintage color camel yellow and I thought why not why not those colors right that looks yeah. like fun and then uh, what's next we have Oh, we have a pack. Try to open it this way so we can see what you're doing. Cool. Ooh, your sister and yourself are going to fight over this huh? Oh, yes. I'm <laughs> keeping this. Okay. So here we have refills. Um, we have a 2.5 Sarasa uh, NJK.5. Um, and these are for my Sarasa um, Select Multi Pen. I use the brown for all my journaling, um, all my planning, I should say. And then when it comes to my kids, um, Little Monkey here has chosen red. She's graduated from pink to red. And then my oldest um, likes purple, so we have purple. I like purple and black sometimes, so uh, red. Yes, I know. And that is, that's everything that I got. Oh, no, there's one more thing in there. Yeah. yeah. Woo! So it's been a really, really long time um, since I've had to get a new um, one of these. And it's not that I need it, need it, but the other one is, I mean, I could definitely do a side-by-side -side comparison. It is a brush pen, double-sided black gray. Um, and this is the black. And then this is the gray. And I'll see if I have like mine right now right here with me because mine is old 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 i think this is the first time i'm replacing it but 
Materials seem to last me a really long time. Um, okay. Here we go. Mama, check that out. I made a little <gasps> knot. Okay, thank you for sharing. Yes. Um, here is my old one. I don't know, see? And then... The also almost done so this is gonna give me um what i'll do is i'll put like a piece of washi tape here although you could probably see how used up it is yeah uh in the yeah so i'll probably put a piece of washi tape here to distinguish this one the old one from the new one until it really really dies out and then i'll just use it for line variation they're very gorgeous thank you and we'll um keep these in here in this little pocket that shanice made me Hey mom, I have a quick question for those. Go ahead, ask. What are what exactly are they? Oh, so it's ink. It's uh, this is the replacement for my pen here. So you open a multi pen up for anybody whose mom's ring. Uh huh. Um, so I have a multi pen. So it it has a pencil, like a mechanical pencil. Yeah. And then it clicks, and then I have brown. And then it clicks and I have purple, and it clicks and I have red. And then, um, so yeah, so these are cool because all you have to, instead of buying the whole thing, all you have to do is buy the replacements. That is very unique. Oh, thank you. So we'll keep that in the little pouch here. It's very adorable. Yeah. With lots of kind of animals and all yeah. that. Yeah, uh, Shanice made those. She's things. got a nice touch. Yeah, she's very creative. So we'll keep, Very. we'll keep all of this in here. Thank you so much for um, joining, for helping me open up the mail, for doing this swatch with me. No sweat. And for being the um, the mail keeper. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna recycle the rubber band. Okay. Cool. See you later. So um, at 2 p.m. this afternoon, or just before 2 p.m. this afternoon, I got the email saying that my book was officially published um, on Amazon and I'm super excited and so now we are at Colstone celebrating mommy's I don't know where the sign is but we're at Colstone we're gonna go get some ice cream there's some fireworks going on um, I am a published author <laughs> it's so weird to say that Okay, it's here. It's uh, Wednesday, July 5th, 4.30. Um, I had to go pick it up at the P.O. Box and then like run back here. But um, it's here. Well, actually it arrived yesterday at the P.O. Box, but the P.O. Box is closed. Oh, my hands are so dry. I wanna show you this, but maybe I should like fix my hair. And like we could do like a whole like YouTube thing. Uh, yeah, let's do that. A little shameless plug for my one book July. Arrange ourselves and then yeah. I'm so excited. I'm uploading the um the intro to One Book July. And then um, as soon as that device is done doing that, hopefully it has a good charge and we'll start. Um, we'll do a time lapse of the month setup and my word and um, and then we'll do we'll start adding these as we go. I don't know how far how much energy I'm gonna have. Um, do that uh, but I'm so excited to have this because we have so much stuff to put in here I know a lot of people have issues with the gray pages at the beginning and at the end of a stology but I've always ended up using them my word for this year is alignment but we already knew that and then a little sneak peek at setting up my months uh, this is so boring <laughs> all right so it's uh like lunchtime <laughs> um it hasn't even been 24 hours since i've got this but we are all moved in i love disney 
uh, Pixar, all of this stuff. Anyways, uh, on June 26, uh, it's Stitch Day because he's Experiment 626. And uh, my friend Ilza over on Instagram reminded me that it was Experiment 626 Day. And so um, the, the whole point of having this journal is not just that it's a planner, but it's also a place for me to be able to draw this stitch in a big size, in a happy, you know, sketchbook size, but not have it be like, I don't know. Like, it's part of my journal. Like, I have... Well, because the other thing is you can also just buy it here at Target and still, you know, head over here and spend some hours here. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's Stitch. Uh, We're drawing him with Furunosuke pens. I'm pretty sure I'm using the soft uh, brush tip since that's my favorite. And then um, the Pentel Inky brush helps fill in the uh, the uh, black areas because it's just so saturated. I love it. It's super inky. I still haven't even, this is still my old one. <laughs> Things last me a really long time. And then a bit of hand lettering just to show off. Tagged along with Mr. Panda to one of his clients. And now uh, we're gonna hang out with the goats and uh, journal a bit. Still playing catch up before I do my flip through. Oh, I should do a flip through. Oh, there's Ash. <laughs> should probably not be in there. It got too hot. So I laid on the grass and it was too wet. So this is the reality of my life. I'm getting pages done. Cause you know what? It's not about the space or the comfort. It's about the will. But look how dirty. We're chilling at the golf clubs. Okay. This is where the pros come. We're choosing a course. And hit some balls. Some digital real life balls on a digital screen. Interesting. met Uncle Josh before. Uncle Josh is my brother-in-law um, and uh, he's also my golf partner or tutor. <laughs> he spends way more time out on the green so he has lots of tips and tricks for my swing and my stands and all the things. I think he just likes watching me fall my ass. <laughs> he's a great cheerleader though so. And he invites me to do fun stuff like this. Welcome to the third floor gallery of my local library, where this season they are hosting um, some seasonal art from local artists. <laughs> Redundant much. And guess who's here? My Summer Fling Journal is on display in the case. And I'm going to give you guys a little silent tour of the rest of the exhibit. All right? I'll be back later.
To all my friends, I do want to let you know that I did attend the reception with all the people, <laughs> um, but we came back uh, on a different day to take this um, footage for you guys so that we could have the kind of the whole thing to ourselves and just do it ASMR style. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And to all my fellow local artists, you guys rocked it. I'm such great company. We just, we just got to Brooklyn and found the most amazing parking right across the street from our event place. We're here at the bookmark shop for Amber's um, author release. Oh my god, we're here! That's my friend! And I have to go to the bathroom so bad! Ooh, this is what I really came for! Yes! Hi, friend! In this genre, we're transported to fantastical worlds, alternate realities, and futures yet unimagined. Prepare to embark on a journey that challenges the boundaries of what's possible, and explores the infinite realms of human creativity. Speculative fiction encompasses various genres, including science fiction, fantasy, dystopian, and supernatural tales. It gives us to question dreams and ponder the profound what-if questions that shape our understanding of the world. Within these pages, we encounter stories that ignite our sense of wonder, stretch the limits of our imagination, and provoke thoughtful exploration of the human condition. Through these narratives, we engage with themes of power, identity, morality, and the profound impact of technological advancements on society. My friend, the author. Oh my god, there's so many horse butts! Hi, butts! Oh my goodness, hi! Are you guys showing your buttocks? Aww, you guys are so cute! Teeth. You guys are so cute. Oh my god, that's what you get for not brushing your teeth, bros. Alright, so we've got a little footage of us at a coffee shop and we got some happy mail, so my little one is gonna help us. Oh, I think you start here, friend. Okay. Let's see, it says tear here. What do we got? Ooh! Nice! Alright, so I got these hoping that they match mine because mine's starting to dwindle down to nothing. So, we're gonna try these. I got these from Amazon. We'll see.
How amazing is that monastery? Um, it's a place that's fairly close to where we live and it's just so peaceful and every summer we like to go up there and just pay our respects and also visit the beautiful property. Um, there's a koi pond and just, I, I mean, there's just so much, um, you know, beautiful stuff like on there to go see and meditate and just you'll also find like a lot of people doing walking meditations or just um you know taking in the sights anywho um i wanted you guys to experience that kind of like an asmr mode and just you know hear the natural sounds of the area and now we are set up at the library uh the kids were doing an origami workshop um while i sat and uh aren't you so proud look at me with my little water brush this is sped up and of course there's no sound because you know kids and stuff but um these are my kids on their uh summer slip and slide it's very exciting <laughs> and the little one's pose was like of just such joy i absolutely had to like put that in there um so yeah fun times with watercolor uh if you'll remember i did a lot of this kind of um faceless figure drawing uh memory keeping last summer in my spring in my summer fling uh composition notebook which was um it not intentionally became like a great way for me to share memories of my kids and i without actually invading the our privacy and showing their actual faces uh, plus it gives me plenty of practice for figure drawing and uh, the difference this year of course is uh, that I'm using watercolor in my stology um, and challenging myself to you know use the water brush more more so that you know I'm able to be mobile with my watercolor and not as precious as I've been in the past uh do you see how i'm trying to change the language here <laughs> um I, I still struggle a little bit you know i miss my brushes i like the variety i miss my my big brush you know and my my smaller ones but i i get the job done um it's it's fun to you know challenge and troubleshoot and um experiment you know that's that's why we do what we do um and uh having fun is definitely the whole point of this summer <laughs> uh yeah so we layer because obviously i'm letting everything air dry so as i you know as you saw me do like the body first and the bathing suit and then while that was kind of like drying up i worked on um the the mat there and now I'm going back with like darker to the body and the hair adding some shadows um watercolor is all about layering you know and when you're working al fresco well I'm not outside but still you know what I mean without a drying a heat tool um you gotta work in I think overall this might have taken like uh, about Mm, 40 minutes from start to finish that's about how long the uh, workshop was so yeah although it takes me longer to set up frankly you know finally get the watercolors out <laughs> decide what page I'm gonna work on today um yeah sometimes I set up and I just you know that's enough <laughs> I put so much effort into that part anybody else no okay just me i doubt it i doubt it's just me <clears throat> um i'm really really happy with how it turned out obviously i'm always i'm uh, i'm easy to please i like what i do keep it simple um i also feel like my technique um is so me now you know it's so ingrained in how i work and and how i approach my pages and 
you know, there's a comfort of like drawing your own kids and yourself over and over and over again. It does become like second nature. So like, uh, I think last year, last summer, I drew the kids so much. I was like, oh my God. Um, but it's great practice, you know, and it, it keeps the, it keeps all the muscles in my arm nice and strong and my hand, my wrist, you know, <clears throat> like the Arnold Schwarzenegger of watercolor. <laughs> oh my God. This is what happens when you don't script your voiceovers. Um, I'm coming back in with my Mitsubishi pencil just to add um, like some detail and some nice and fun instead of using the pen. There are parts of everybody's life that we don't always or can't always share. Very soon, I will be sharing this oh, part of my them. life. My selfies? No. My selfies are probably in my hand. My shop stuff. And your old card. Oh, shh. Oh, shh. Oh, I've disrupted the balance. The balance. After nine months, I got my first order at fromanna.com. And so we had to go into our storage unit and dig up um those items and i thank you so so much for your support <coughs> living lake oh, look at how beautiful the flowers last time i showed you the pink ones this time i'm showing you the yellow ones it's time to go home so things plans changed today and we ended up having to come to the park and so I've set myself up to do a little voiceover action slash recording, planning, catching up, all the things. And check out my little co-worker. Isn't she just the most adorable thing ever? Guess who's going to be featured in today's journal? Andre. Hello. That's my lemon water with Chia. Look at, it's just, it's just fun to keep on going. Just have your best life, dude. Don't you don't have to go. Just stay. Stay and chillax. This is the view. We're not quite sprawled out yet. Um I just finished voicing over the Barbie video. If you haven't watched it, watch it. It's fun. 22 minutes of stuff. Oh look, I just saved, so we'll be able to export that soon. Um and then I'm not working on putting this vlog together just yet because clearly we're still doing stuff, you know, and there's been so much other stuff that we've been doing. This is the playground. My child is out there somewhere. Oh, I see her. Can you see her? Out in the, all the way out there. She's okay. The other one's sitting in the car reading. They're two very different kind of people. <laughs> All right, let me get my stuff out. Do, do, do. We end this month getting our car Bernie new brakes and celebrating my book. Thank you so much for joining me in this very long vlog. See you soon.